All right, here I am again inside the goon rig, and this time I've got another little issue to pick apart and hopefully find a quick fix for. So um, it aggravates me just a little bit, not too much, but uh, the way that the torso looks here, when the leg comes up past a certain height, uh, it stays static and it doesn't react to the shape of the leg, which um, ideally, it would move up slightly as though the shirt was moving. And it's exactly what I intend to try to do using the if else expression. This will be the second time doing it on this rig. Um, I have another tutorial you can check out to see me do that to the shoulder pads. Uh, but this time we're gonna do it for the torso. And this is very useful as far as like manipulating the shape automatically when moving a figure. So this is kind of an advanced method, but it's actually not too difficult. It's just kind of hard to keep track of. In my own mind, it, it, it's hard to keep track of, I guess. So I already have a puppet mesh going on here. Um, as you can see, I've hidden all of them, <laughs> but I wanna go down to that mesh, mesh one, and then select the puppet tool. And I want to actually add some fixer pins here, so one on each side that's just going to simply lift the corners up uh, so we have right shirt fix I'll rename them left shirt fix and then I'll select both of them and I'm going to open up Duick very quick just to create some bones um, add bones there we go and I don't need Duick open anymore so close the torso also don't need that but you can see here now I can change the shape slightly simply by moving those pins so I want to figure out a way to attach these pins somehow to the degree of rotation on the thigh to make it so that they move up when the leg does but not when it goes down I don't want them to look like they're glued to the leg I just want them to look like the leg is lifting them up uh, so in order to do that, the way I'm going to attempt this right now, is I will open up the transform panel, and I have the left thigh already opened up. So I can see pretty much like once I get to here, which is at 26 degrees rotation, that's when it hits the corner of that shirt. So I want to use an if-else expression, conditional expression, to... Um, cause the position, the Y position of this pin to move upward. Um, so before starting that, I'm gonna make sure I attach this to the thigh, or the hip rather, sorry about that. That way it moves when the hip does. And I will do the same for the right one. And now I want to start by right-clicking separate dimensions on the position. And now with the Y position selected, I'm going to Alt-click the stopwatch, open up the expression panel. I just want to do an add and then go down to the rotation of the left thigh and select that. So now it should be linked to that and it will add according to the rotation of the thigh. Which is great, but I don't need it to move at all when the leg goes that way. So I'm going to have the if else start at 26. So I'm going to cut that and I'll start the expression if parentheses, the thigh rotation is greater than 26, then I will paste my expression, um, transform, yeah. And then else, parentheses, and I just want the value of the Y position. So I'm just gonna write transform.y, capital P position and that'll give me the regular value when it's below 26. 
So there you see, it's below 26, it's locked into its normal position, goes over 26, and it adds the number here. But you can see that value goes down. So essentially the only change that I wanna make here is I'll go back into that expression and I want the value which ends right here. This is the transformation. Uh, <laughs> it's the addition of that rotation value on top of the y position value. I wanna take all of that and multiply it by negative one. So that I'll simply invert the value so it goes up instead of down. And there it is, that seems to work like really, really well, way better than I was expecting. And once it goes below that value, drops right down. No keyframing to fix anything, it's fixing itself. And I will save this and do the same thing for the other side. All right, so as you can see here, it didn't take all that much for the other side. It's a slightly different expression, but has the same effect there. Um, it's not perfect. As you can see, the way that it manipulates the shape there, it's, you know, it's not ideal, but it's much better than it was looking before. And I'm into it, you know, that's enough for, for what I'm going for here. So hopefully this was helpful. You know, this kind of thing is really useful for clothing, um, among other things. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to setting it up and it takes a little time early on, but the effect at the end when you're doing a lot of keyframing, um, it's invaluable. It saves you so much time. It looks way better and it just makes the overall appearance of your character a lot more um, polished and professional. Um, hope you liked it. If you got some other tips or uh, I did anything wrong, you're confused, uh, drop me a line in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.